guys, it is Friday morning finally, and I've been waiting for this package for a long time. That wall right there, if you guys recall how my old gaming closet had a bunch of acoustic foams, well, we're gonna do the same thing with that wall. Not as much as I did in the gaming closet though, just on that wall so we can just perfect the sound just a little bit. That's the package. I opened it in the corner over there just so I can make sure everything was in there and it was the right product that I ordered. I'm gonna open this up and I'm not just gonna put them on the wall. I got something in mind that I wanna build here with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Before we get our day started and doing what we have to do, I wanna make sure that, by the way, these are acoustic foams by the company name of Arrow Zoom. I'll link them down in the description. Make sure you guys check them out. They're literally one of the few companies that actually have so many varieties of acoustic foams. So I'll link them down in the description. They are fire resistance, I heard. So we'll, we'll see what's up with that, man. Let's open this up first. It's a good packaging, let me tell you. They pack it up pretty good. Cause I've ordered acoustic foams before and some people just don't pack it up right. These are the base traps. I, I got two of them for corners on top. Hello. Yeah, pretty good. Second one. Put that one over there. So these are the acoustic foams. They're approximately 19.6 inches or something. Let's just say 20 inches. And those, of course, are the base traps. These are the pyramid pattern acoustic foam. The ones I had in my other closet were 12 inches. So these are a lot bigger. The company also has smaller sizes. For those of you guys who are concerned, this is really awesome. Look, these are pretty damn big. I like them, I like them a lot. So we have nine of these, I believe. And we have a 10th one. And this is the one that we're gonna try out. We're gonna burn this one in here. But first, there's nothing more annoying than having a messy office. There really isn't. Just to double check, roughly around 19 by 19, I would assume. This wall has six feet and a half, so 76 inches. All the way up to 46 inches. All right, so we have that figured out. I got all the measurements I need. It's getting a little bit hot in here. So every morning I've been trying my best to make it a routine where I come outside in the mornings, do push-ups, do some weights. I don't have a lot of weights. I only got like five pounders. I've got to go out and buy some, you know, obviously heavier weights. But for now, I've just been doing a lot of push-ups, just trying to get my body a little bit more active. You stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. So as of like two, three days ago, I've been doing five sets of 20 push-ups, which obviously equals 100. See, I'm the type of person that when I really want to do something, I always do it. And I tried being fit about five months ago, but everything has just been so crazy. It only lasted me about three weeks. This time around, I, I obviously intend to uh, be a little bit more committed and lose a lot more weight and get back in shape. And uh, hopefully, it makes everything a lot more interesting. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. I was only able to do 75 today. See, in life, when you start a journey, the beginning is always the hardest. And that is the honest truth, all right? So think about it. When you first start YouTube, you got no views, no subs, it sucks. When you start working out, you're not healthy, you can't even run a mile, you're in completely, completely, total, freaking horrible shape. But as the weeks go by, you get better. See, I started doing push-ups, right? Kind of like when I first started YouTube. I barely got any views. Now, I got a lot more views than I did before, but that's why, because I kept at it. I was very consistent. When I first started doing push-ups two weeks ago, I was only able to do 15, 20. Back in the days, I would do 300, I told you guys. Now, I can only do, like today, 75, sometimes 100. And that is with sets, not back-to-back, -back, because God knows. I'm not in shape. So basically the secret is to just keep consistent no matter what it is in life. And I promise, it, it, there is always, always a reward for those who stay consistent. So now comes the best part of the day, the shower. Put down the, oops. All right, so we're bathed and ready to go. I'm gonna get the keys, gotta go to my mother-in-law's house because Rebecca took our car. All right, it's rolling time. I haven't eaten anything all day. I just had like a little bit of coffee in the morning and then, you know, Got a little busy, a little workout. Um, probably gonna pass by Smoothie King and get like a smoothie or something just to feel my body for a little bit. And then just get something to eat later on. We have arrived 
at Smoothie King. Do you guys have any like um like a vegetable blend or, or fruits or anything? Mango, uh, cherry kale. I know Smoothie King smoothies are not the healthiest, but it's better than having what I used to have a few weeks back, you know? It's actually pretty good. How am I gonna take the camera inside and then bring the... I can't take the camera. Let's take the camera inside. I'll just take my backpack and if anything, I'll load it up in there. And it is what it is. Omotang. It's kind of funny because people see me with this big ass camera and they think I'm gonna report something or something like that. And you see in reality, I'm not a reporter. I'm just a vlogger. That's the most annoying part about being a vlogger. People always think you're gonna record them. Especially when you have a big ass camera like this. I think I found the wood I want. It's like a cardboard, I don't really know the name of it. I, I would say it's called chipboard. It's a really skinny one and this is where when I get the acoustic foam and stick them here. I'm not in my car, so that big thing, this. This really big thing. That's definitely not gonna fit in that car, so I gotta get somebody to cut it to the size that I need it and hopefully that size will fit. I left Home Depot with uh, my with Rebecca's mom's car and they kind of like met me up because I had to hold this on top of the roof of the car by myself and then my nephew which is holding the camera now we hopped on our car put it on the roof and we were both each able to hold it on one side and it's super windy as you guys can see the sky is about to rain so it was pretty cray cray <laughs> In case you guys are wondering, that is how we're gonna put the acoustic foams. That's why I built the frame. It's gonna look a lot nicer, a lot fancier, not just acoustic foams stuck on the wall. To put up the acoustic foams on the wall, we're gonna need some scissors, some double-sided mounting tape, and of course, the acoustic foam. <laughs> gave me this one extra and it's got all the sticky tape that I need in the back which would have been pretty helpful if they would have all came like this but I'm sure this is kind of like a like a sample maybe you guys can order it on their website with this in the back already you guys would have to go on the website link in the description and check it out but it's pretty cool saves a lot of time So there is my acoustic treatment for my new gaming room. Uh, there's a lot of things that I still got to do in this room, but I haven't even started. This is literally like the first thing and the table. Aside from that, there's so many more things that I got to do, but it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? All right. So before we finish this vlog, just wanted to unbox this, this really cool flat thing. They call it duty sim. So. I don't want to cut too deep. Here it is. Oh, this is awesome. 
I wonder what it could be. Am I invited to COD XP 2020? Oh my god. What do we have here? I got a message from Call of Duty. It says, Hello, in celebration of the overcoming Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, we want you yada yada yada. Promoting Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Oh man, this is a thick paper. And this is fucking lovely, man. Oh, this is awesome. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Well, guys, that's gonna be for this video. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I don't even know if it's gonna be long. I've recorded over 200 clips just to make this one vlog, but I hope it comes out pretty well. So if you enjoyed the vlog, drop me a like. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you guys want more vlogs, just let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. My name is Hollow, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hey, hey, hey.